everyone and welcome to this pick a card reading about what's coming in December. So just tune in, connect with your guides or your higher self, your inner guidance and just see which pile you feel most drawn to, one, two or three. And uh, Merry Christmas everyone, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate and however you celebrate it. Bye. Okay, so if you picked pile number one, you got alchemy, huh, amazing, synchronicity, discovering truth, Ooh. you've got the ten of swords in reverse which is amazing because I randomly reversed seven cards just because I don't usually do reversals but I thought let's just see what happens, just mix it up a bit. Okay, you've got career transition and comfort, oh you've got the queen of cups in reverse, you've got so two of the seven reversals have come into this pile and one is very positive that you've got the Ten of Swords in reverse because it reverses the, um, the energy of that which is great. You've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, let's see what's close to that, that's going to be interesting. You've got Strength in reverse, how have all these reversals turned up in this reading? Let's just see, this is going to be a great one though because I feel that that makes it very very powerful so stick with it and see what this message is. I've just got a really good feeling about this. I think this is going to be very instructive and very clear for you because of that. Okay, uh, that's not. we're not doing reversals with those, just the tarot. Ah, really? Yes. This is already making a lot of sense. You've got Wise Leader as your card, um, well as this card that's just sort of ended up on its own down here, <laughs> so just go with it okay, I, everything means something. You are a beacon for others, so in December I feel that you are going to be having to face that. You are, I know it sounds weird to say having to face that as if it's some sort of a chore, but I just feel that what's happened is that You've been guided to this place. You've got the Wheel of Fortune, by the way, which I didn't say, and it's wonderful that you've got that because it's next to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and I think that makes it all okay on that front as well. So it's amazing. You've got career transition. You, you, December, I feel, for this group is going to be the time when you decide that something's got to change in career. I think it's going to be the time when you decide that you have to step into your role as a leader that you have to let go of all the fears and the small thinking that you might have. You stand in the light of truth, okay? Discovering truth, you stand in the light of truth. The world needs truth right now. And if you are carrying a message of truth and light, and because of that, you've, you know, you've got this extra sensitivity that sometimes goes with that, um, if that's what's been keeping you small, you are being asked to have courage. Because I actually feel that this time now and 2020, it's going to be a very important period for people, for light workers, empaths, starseeds who have been hiding away, hiding their light, um, being not necessarily, I, I wouldn't necessarily call it being um, trapped in fear, although it is in a sense, but that sounds as if I'm telling you off. It's not that. It's sometimes we have such acute sensitivity that you just cannot explain to anyone who doesn't experience it that you actually have to spend a lot of time in preparation, which can look like hiding, but you ha there are a lot of tools that you have to <laughs> learn. There are a lot of things that you have to figure out, you know, because you are very, very aware of how energy is transferred and how it moves around and you have to learn how to, I'm sorry, I'm going to say it, sorry Law of Attraction people, you have to learn how to protect yourself, you have to learn how to shield your energy, you have to learn how to not go walking into situations that are going to be threatening um, to your energy and you have to know how to have deep self-care to, to get yourself recharged and re-energized again when you have ended up in a situation that's put you out of balance let's just say. Um, I'm not going to go into that too much but this is what this reminds me of this reading. If you want to work with me I'd be happy to go into more detail but obviously there's a limit to how much you know I'm happy to share here but let's just say you are one of those people who 
has come to a point now where you've had to go through a huge period of learning. You've, you've come to a point where even though you were absolutely down and out at some point, absolutely felt abandoned, absolutely went through the dark night of the soul, perhaps several times, you've turned that on its head now because of what you've learned, because of the truth that you've discovered, because of the energy management um, that you've discovered. If this doesn't apply to you, please feel free to move on to another message. I feel this is a really important message for me to get to some people. And those people who come to this message and who totally get it, I'm really happy that you're here and I hope this helps you. So you've come through all of those changes and all of those shifts and, and immense growth. And you're wondering, you know, is it possible for me to step into that role? Is it safe? <laughs> you know, is it the right time now? Are the energies on the planet um, sufficient for me to be able to actually step out there? Yes, it's time. It's time. It's time. And I feel that that's going to unfold over the next couple of years. So in other words, it will be there will be a period of experimentation with how far you want to go and how quickly and how visible you feel able to be and how much energy. Because for this group, you're absorbing energy all the time. You are like the the sponges of the universe. You sponge up, you mop up the negativity and you cleanse it and you clear it. You know, you're really at the classic empath, the acutely sensitive empath. You literally are feeling, living, breathing, walking through everything and everyone else's energy all the time. And part, a part of your role is to not only clean up frequencies but to become acutely aware of them so that when you start channeling you start doing your work you are channeling an exquisite vibration from the fifth sixth seventh you know endless other finer dimensions to bring heaven to earth okay i'm sorry if this sounds melodramatic because of that and because of the acute sensitivity you will have had experiences where you may have appeared weak strength in reverse okay you may have even questioned yourself and felt weak. You may have actually wondered, am I ever going to get onto my path? What am I really here for? What is my life about? Queen of Pentacles in reverse, feeling over emotional, feeling out of control, feeling as if you're indulging yourself, as if you've lost the plot, so to speak. Yes, um, but you have the wheel of fortune here and it's turning and it's turning in your favour and you're being asked to let go of fear and have confidence. Archangel Michael cards. So Archangel Michael, who is, as far as I'm concerned, he is the Archangel for light workers and empaths, for acutely sensitive people who need that extra protection and for those who are here on a divine purpose, on a divine mission with a divine purpose okay he is your angel your go-to archangel work with him ask him for help and ask to be guided by him ask him even for strength to push yourself forward i feel that in december you will be discovering that there is nowhere else to go now that you have to i feel really emotional <laughs> sorry there is nowhere else for you to go it's as if you've tried everything else you've been everywhere else you've tried to escape your destiny you've tried to be someone else be somewhere else run away you know um, bury your head in the sand all the other idioms and expressions for not doing what you came here to do but actually what you were doing was preparing and testing the waters and preparing and testing the waters like a scientist just you know is this okay is that okay is this okay that can i do this can i do that and in that you have become an exquisite channel for the right kind of frequencies and you can feel when the frequency changes you can feel you're practically living breathing and walking through as a kind of um a receiver you know you're picking up signals all the time and um, qualifying and measuring and analyzing energies as you go for most of you it will be conscious for some of you it will be unconscious but you will have learned that when you feel bad somewhere you don't go there anymore that when you feel nauseous for no reason you need to clear your energy or have a salt bath or call in your angels or do this that or the other practice okay so you are an extreme energy practitioner okay and it's time for you to be out there in the world now because 
yes, you've been fulfilling a purpose because yes, everywhere you go, you provide that divine surf service and everyone um, feels better around you. And, and it's because on some level, you know, you've cleared up the energy in the room and you've cleared their energy just by being there and all the rest of it. And you come back and you're exhausted or, or you've learned how to do it like a master and you know, you do it, you come home, you do what you have to do and you move on again. Whatever the case is, it's time now for you to start bringing those skills out into the world because we're in a time now where everyone is going to begin to feel much more sensitive than they did before. As people awaken, with that comes heightened sensitivity. This is why we're hearing about so many people wanting to spend time um, working, working with nature and being outdoors and, 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 you know, people wanting, you know, people who would rather be a yoga teacher than a lawyer, for example. That sort of story is going to become increasingly common. And also, this is why so many injustices and dark elements are being exposed because the light frequency is increasing daily on the planet. So yes, it is becoming a place where you can feel increasingly more comfortable as long as you choose where you live and who you hang out with and, and how you nurture and take care of yourself. Yes, indeed, you can come out now. Okay, come out and be seen and share your gifts because others will need them. The wandering path. I love that card. This is a card for me anyway. This card is about just meandering, you know, your life might look like a weird puzzle, like you've been through all these weird twists and turns and your journey might look nonsensical to other people, like, oh, he or she's doing this now, oh, have you heard he or she's studying that now, or oh, did you realise that they've just gone off to this island for a couple of months, or whatever it is, you know, how the heck are they coping, how are they managing, you know, all of that 3D nonsense, it's not for you, your path looks unusual because it is unusual. You're here on an unusual assignment. You are going to have an unusual path. Forgive that now, you know, let it go. And, and when I say forgive it, I, what I mean by that is sometimes we can be quite punishing in the way that we view ourselves if our lives haven't run on a normal track. But the times are coming now when you will be thankful that your life has not run on a normal track and that you are armed with these skills and resources and abilities and that you are able to full, to step fully into the light of your purpose and service, okay? Stop trying to fit your square peg into a round hole. Don't try to be anything or anyone else to make anyone feel comfortable, safe or, or to make yourself acceptable to them. Be yourself, be brave, be bold, be daring, be different, be your truth and step into your role as a wise leader now. Okay, that's it number one. I know that was super intense. I hope you found it helpful and um, do get in touch with me if you'd like me to help you in any way. Um, there will be links in the description and yeah, let me know, uh, share your comments. Let me know if this resonated with you. Okay. Bye for now and good luck with everything. Have a fantastic December. Okay, if you picked pile number two, let's have a look and see what your December is going to be about. Now with this pile, I just suddenly felt myself um, going backwards a bit. So I just feel as if, you know, you're going to need to keep your balance in December. Okay, keep a clear perspective and keep, keep January, February, March and the whole of next year in mind. Okay, keep the bigger picture in mind through throughout December, okay? Whatever happens, whatever you have to do or manage or juggle in terms of, you know, um, the, the Christmas period and, and what's required of you, just keep the bigger picture in mind, okay? It's just a drop in the ocean in terms of time. It's a second, it's an instant. I don't know why I'm saying that, but some of you will understand. Okay, you've got playtime, yay! For some of you, December is gonna be a fantastic time of just relaxing, playing, watching clouds. I love that. So, <laughs> yeah, it's about time. I'm sure some of you will be saying it's about time. Playtime, letting yourself off the hook a little bit, not putting yourself under so much pressure. Please, if you've got this, you know, this, if you're, the people who've come to this pile, um, I feel you really do need to give yourselves a little bit of time off. So make the most of it. You've got the Ace of Swords in reverse. You've got explore your options. And again, I've only um, reversed seven cards in this deck, this tarot deck, just to see what would happen and what the reversals would would give, what would 
what they would bring in terms of extra information. So it's going to be interesting. Um, so the Ace of Swords in reverse, okay, do not feel dis uh, defeated. Okay, and then you've got the Justice in reverse. Oh, the Moon as well. How many are there? Okay, something's gone Ah, oh, something's gone wrong. I think I just turned them all upside down. Okay, so you haven't got the reversals. <laughs> Sorry, this group. Okay, let's put that up the right way. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. Good. Eight of Wands. Uh, the Lovers. Sense of humour. <laughs> yes, always important. Believe and trust. And then you've got your other cards here narrow pathway and choosing your path okay interesting right let's see what is this about what is this about well you're going to keep a sense of humor you're going to have to keep a sense of humor in December okay keep going forward I feel some of you if you're concerned about um, how you're going to actually be able to navigate the Christmas period financially I feel you might get a surprise you might actually have more than you think to to juggle and to play with and to deal with I mean you know to to go through the Christmas period with in terms of finances it might actually be a lot easier than it's been in previous years so it could be that you're about to manifest something something's about to come in unexpectedly or it's something that you expect but um, you haven't figured it into your plans so it just seems surprising somehow I also feel right with this card you've got explore your options and you've got the ace of swords so there is some kind of a victory to come out of um, yeah I just had a really weird moment there I had a really weird moment there thinking about the reversals yeah okay I'm just going to go with it. So there is some some kind of triumph to come out of you taking a rest, giving yourself time to play, giving yourself a, a moment to step back, relax, look at your options for the year ahead. Right, that makes sense now. I get that. Okay, so you totally need to let go over Christmas. You need to just stop worrying, stop stressing and commit to just having a good time. When you come back after Christmas, oh, also you will need to do some chakra clearing. You will need to keep your energy clear. So there may be certain factors, let's just say, or factions, <laughs> you know, groups of people, encounters that you will have more exposure to over Christmas that tend to sometimes um, manifest themselves as a slightly toxic energy in your life. So just breathe through it and again there is that sense of you know this is just a moment in time enjoy what there is to enjoy you know this is the buddhist idea suffer what there's there is to suffer enjoy what there is to enjoy i know this sounds depressing but it's not it's actually really positive because a lot of things have shifted from between last christmas or last holiday season and this holiday season so this holiday season it feels as if there's going to be more flow there's going to be more abundance there's going to be more great stuff happening the stuff that's not so good will still be there but you have a different attitude towards it you have more resources you have an ability to deal with it you've got justice and you've got the moon so it could be that there is something karmic playing out as well and within that there'll be things coming to light new things um, new information things that have been hidden things that you haven't seen before that help you to make a decision about how you want to go forward in the future so this isn't a period where you're just playing even though it seems as if you're just playing and relaxing and having a holiday it could be a period that's really useful for you in terms of seeing your way ahead over the coming year for some of you there'll be love coming in over Christmas you've got the lovers card and that looks really exciting so if you're single and you're going to be going out over Christmas I would encourage you to go out and say yes to some of these invitations I feel that with this pile you really need to let your hair down a bit you really need to just get out and have some fun and yes you've got keep a sense of humor you've got keep a sense of humor you've got playtime you've got the lovers you know there's there's a lot here that says you need to just and you've got explore your options as well 
um, you've got to explore your options above the lovers. So, you know, maybe maybe you need to just um, be dating again. And that doesn't mean being intimate with everyone, but just dating and seeing seeing what's out there, seeing who's available, seeing who's, you know, who might actually um, join you in, in having some fun, going out, just having some lightness. Because sometimes when we let go of worrying and thinking about how things are going to um, work out over Christmas or or even the rest of the year we just you know we get more inspired as a result of doing that as a result of letting go letting go of the reins we become much more inspired from a place of having fun and freedom sometimes and you've got after this period of things coming to light some kind of karmic situation that brings justice um, then things start to happen very quickly. It's almost as if over the, you know, throughout the month, you're preparing for the holiday season. You're trying to be a bit more relaxed. Um, a couple of good things coming in for you, some kind of a victory over difficult situations. And then you start to think, OK, well, what else is there in life for me? What good things? It could be for some of you that this victory brings you prosperity, that something happens um, that brings you prosperity. There's some kind of a balancing of the scales of justice that allows you to actually move forward in a really positive way. But it could also be that things that come to light actually allow you to stop holding on to a situation that was in the past and that was keeping you stuck in the past and to say, well, OK, well, if that's the case, then if that's how things are, then I'm going to let go of the past and I'm going to move forward really strongly now on my own journey, on my own path. And I am going to be open to letting love in and having fun and having um, fun experiences because you've got, this is a major arcana and you've got the moon and justice as well. They seem to sort of be playing out a story together. And then you've got the eight of wands there in the middle saying that, you know, things are going to accelerate in December. Things are going to accelerate. So if you're sitting on the fence about something, wondering whether the truth is going to come to light, whether you're going to actually see things, you know, coming out in a way that's really positive for you. I feel that that is going to be a kind of um, conclusion to that story. Um, and it's going to be something that happens in a very positive way. So whatever it is that comes out, um, it's not going to be something that surprises you entirely. And it's not going to be something that depletes or depresses you. It's going to almost be something that empowers you, that enlivens you, that allows you to release yourself from being stuck. And, you know, you are going to gradually get your sense of humour back. I feel for some of you, you've sort of lost your sense of humour a bit with um, with things that have happened in the past, things that you've been waiting to hear about, or some kind of karmic situation, possibly a karmic relationship. But this doesn't feel heavy at all. It feels very light and fun and bubbly. And I feel as if, for some of you, it will be that you allow yourself in December to start to get back to the fun, lively, bubbly self that you were before. And that's great because this should be a time of celebration, you know, it should be a time when we can celebrate things. So whatever happens, you know, allow yourself some time to have fun. Tread thoughtfully, all is possible. So there is some kind of a vision or dream that you have in mind that you will actually be able to start planning and knowing that you can realise in 2020 if you let yourself off the hook and allow yourself to have some rest. And I keep coming back to this. I mean, have some fun and some rest, some play and rest. I feel like, you know, this prosperity comes out of that. It comes out of you doing something that's playful and a bit more fun and, you know, stop holding yourself back from having fun, you know? It could be that there's something, you know, that you're supposed to be doing in your career that's going to be more fun for you. It could be that you're changing career. It could just be that you've been very unsociable and now you're going to start to allow yourself to go out and you know you you will have the funds to do that and so you'll feel a bit more relaxed and that's going to bring in all kinds of other things fun things more fun things love adventure um and you're being asked to believe and trust okay believe and trust in the future have faith in the future have faith 
in your path and in your future. I'm not saying overspend, don't go crazy, be sensible, but I feel as if things are going to open up in December in a really nice way. It could be that this isn't just a, a sudden gift that, you know, you suddenly get some money. It could be that you get offered more hours at work or you get offered a new contract or a new project or something new comes in and, you know, and you you have an opportunity to earn more than you thought you were going to. But it could be a gift, you know. Whatever it is, it seems to be almost life-changing in a sense. You know, it seems, all of this seems connected somehow. And um, so for this group, I would just encourage you to have some fun, have faith in the future and, and have enough faith that you can just take your hands off the wheel for a little while and go out dancing or partying or, or something. And, and um, yeah, let love in, let, let love in and, and get your sense of humour back. Just step out of all of it see the bigger picture but not in a philosophical way in a fun way <laughs> you know just look at it and say oh my god isn't it, isn't it hilarious that this has happened or that's happened and you know look at where it's brought me it will ultimately have brought you to a place where you can start to believe again that anything is possible and that you can now choose your path and choose your way ahead and ultimately choose your future and choose what is going to materialize for you in 2020. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that pile number one and um, pile number two, I think. Gosh, I've gone insane. Um, and uh, yeah, have a great December and a great Christmas or holiday period and uh, take care, speak to you soon. Okay, so if you picked pile number three, pile number three, this is what's coming for you in December. So, your first card, you have Watch Your Thoughts break free, grace and gratitude, the chariot in reverse, is it in reverse or is that just, oh, I've just turned the cards that way, the chariot, passion, outdoors, Knight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, gosh, Ten of Cups, Self-Respect, Lean on God and the Angels for support, and then you've got Uncovering Treasure and Joy and Delight, wow, okay, so, okay, this is exciting, this is really interesting, and, um, hmm, all right, so, for some of you, I just feel that it's time for you to move away from situations that feel very stuck. Um, you're on a journey forward now. It's time for you to start moving forward. Um, but I also feel that you need to follow your passion as you move forward. So if you're moving out of one situation, make sure that the situation you're moving into is one that you feel truly passionate about. You've got the... Uh, Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands and I feel that for some of you these will be possibilities of love interests. These will be people because you've got the Ten of Cups right next to the Knight of Wands and it's really interesting. It could be that you feel closer to the Knight of Wands which is a, a fire sign, um, a possible Aries, Leo or Sagittarius and you've got the Knight of Pentacles here, who's sort of just out on the outskirts a little bit. And um, that's a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. So, and that isn't, you know, it, you, it could be either way around for you. And you, you might not actually have any of those um, signs around you. But, so let's talk about the characters. On the one hand, you have someone around you who is very creative, adventurous, very warm, very warm-hearted, very giving, very open, very passionate about what they do. I might have said passionate. Very passionate, very um, very willing to... Someone who would be there, who would feel as if they were very much there in your corner with you, but letting you shine and shining as well beside you. And this is the one that's right next to the Ten of Pentacles. So you know, that kind of, it has an expansiveness to it. It just seems to, these two seem to connect very well. But you've also got 
Two of Pentacles, which does also say that this is a choice. This is possibly a choice between two people, two energies, two situations, okay? So you could have something or someone very passionate, very warm, very fiery that you feel that way about, and you could have someone else who's much more practical, level-headed, sensible, seems like the right thing to do or the right person to be with, or this could just be someone who's very grounded, very grounded, um, very, very sensible, very clear about, you know, this is, this is what we need to do, this is how we need to structure things, this is, this is how we could go forward together. It almost seems, um, not cold, but just a little bit too practical, and I kind of feel as if this one, you know, you really, you really, we really have to go towards what makes our heart sing you know what makes us feel alive and alight and um, you know especially if this is the possibility of a love situation so for some of you that is exactly what it is and you know exactly what I'm talking about you have these two very different kinds of energies forget about the signs for now but there's two different kinds of energies and you're kind of trying to decide between them now for some of you yes it will be a question of do I follow the creative path or do I follow the sensible path in terms of, um, you know, this is a career or a lifestyle that will support me materially in the future, that will allow me to put down roots and be sensible and have, you know, have a stable um, foundation. And this is just going to be like, wow, something that I love and I wake up for, uh, you know, leap out of bed for and feel great about. And it might not seem as, as sensible, but it's, it opens me up and it feels warm and it feels wonderful. And it brings a great deal of emotional fulfillment and joy and happiness. Okay. There is a tendency sometimes within us, there is a paradigm that says you have one or the other, that this, this is like the guy who comes along, who's like, wow, he's, he's so exciting or, or female. It depends, you know, who you, who you date, who you're with, what your gender is, whatever. This is the person who comes along and, and who's really, really fun, exciting, spontaneous, creative, and you just feel good around them. You have a good time with them. You know, you laugh together, etc. And this is the one who's just like, no, come on, be sensible we need structure we need a timetable for this we need you know and um, it can kind of take some of the fun out of it but it sort of feels as if maybe that's the sensible one because you can build with that one but you're being asked in December to follow your passion okay and that is not me or anyone else making a decision for you you have to follow and trust and know what's in your heart but you also have through gratitude joy expands so you need to, we need to get into a practice of connecting with all the amazing things in our lives that we have to feel grateful for and putting our energy in that area and also putting our energy towards the things that light us up and that make us feel really good because you're in a time when you need to break free you need to break free of anything stultifying anything that tries to trap you or contain you or tell you how to do things or put you into a routine that isn't coming spontaneously and naturally from within you. You need to move to towards that which makes you grow, that which shines on you like the sun and makes you want to spread out of the ground and, and reach up, you know, reach up, expand yourself, expand your life and go forward in a really magnificent and powerful way. And in December, you're gonna be making some of those decisions about how to do that. I do feel if these two energies or choices aren't around you yet at the time of coming to this reading, they will become more apparent in December and that energy will become more acute and that choice will sharpen up a lot more. So it might be that you have a vague sense of that at the moment, but it will become a much sharper sense of the polarity, you know, be the difference between those two choices. And I feel that you'll make the right choice. Operate from a place of self-respect. It's time to respect yourself and respect your feelings, respect your heart. Some of you coming to this one will have neglected your heart, will have neglected your feelings and your truth for a while now. And you're being asked to really, really give respect to what you know and what you feel within you. OK, ask the angels for help with that if you want to, if that's something that fits your belief system and also lean on God and the angels for support. Ask for help with understanding yourself, understanding your path and understanding that you can have what you want, that you're here to embrace and to experience greater love and to shine, you know, to show yourself as you really are 
to the world, to show your passions, to, to you know, to expand yourself, to, to show others how to shine and how to truly be themselves. And if these are people and energies, you need to choose energies that are like that, because whatever you choose to have around you, that's what you'll become ultimately. Okay, uncovering treasure. I feel that in December you will be revealing yourself in all your beauty and magnificence. You will be allowing yourself to start to show what lies beneath the surface, okay? Beneath the surface lies great bounty. You haven't even scratched the surface of who you are and what you came here to be and I feel that in December you're going to break free of some of the limitations that you have in your mind and you're going to start to allow yourself to see that. Open your heart to joy. Open your heart to what makes you really happy. In December it's going to be a time for you to do that. It's going to be a time of celebration but it's also going to be a time when you are asked to think about the year ahead and about how you wish to travel through that year. Do you wish to journey through that year with burden and obligation and timetables and you know someone else telling you how to do things? Again I'm not saying leave your job or anything like that, not at all. It's about adding things to your life. It's about going back to things that you've neglected and finding time, you know, spare time to do those things. For some of you, it may be that you have to make a change, but that's up to you to, to make a free will choice. Um, but it's really important for you to ask yourself in December, what brings me joy and lightness? Because you can only go forward now with joy and lightness. You cannot take any heavy burdens with you. And gratitude, expressing gratitude, thinking about what you're grateful for, will allow you to experience that vibration increasingly and to become much more sensitive to it. So in other words, you will be aware of when something is bringing a good energy to you and when something isn't bringing a useful or good energy to you. Anything that opens your heart up in December is going to be something that you need to consider. You've also got go you've also got outdoors. Go outside and get some fresh air, connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So for some of you you need to get out there and um, and just be with nature. Just be with the trees. Trees are magnificent, incredible things. You know, if we were to plant enough trees, we could solve our environmental problems. If we were to spend time with trees, we could solve the problems that we have with with a lack of mindfulness and stillness and it's so incredibly healing just to be close to nature you're being encouraged to do that if you feel lost in terms of being able to commit to what's what's real because when you connect with nature and you feel the love that's there in nature and you start to feel able to breathe again and bring the breath back into your life and into your body you will also feel and know everything else that's good and that's right for you. And you'll be able to feel and sense everything that isn't. So I hope that helps you for December um, group number three. I think you're going to have a fantastic time. You've got some really nice choices there and some real richness of spirit that you will be uncovering and offering to the world. So have a fantastic time and um, I hope to speak to you soon. Let me know how this resonated for you. Take care. Bye. Thank you.